event gen. Event gen is the ability to bring in logs that are you control. So maybe you have a test environment and you don't have any logs coming in, you can use an event gen and it will generate it. Um, the Lame Training app has two different event gens. One is a PowerShell script that'll actually create logs and then it monitors the logs and brings them in. And then event gen is a script, is a concept that Splunk built. Um, it basically, you download the app it will then re it will read the config file, look at some sample logs, and create uh, quasi random logs for you. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show how to do event gen setup. If you come into uh, Lame Edu, you can actually see the event gen setup. I've got a little documentation here. All you got to do is go download the link. You need to go to Splunk Base. You need to download it. Then you'll want to install it with apps, manage your apps, and install from it from a link. Get that install from a file, install it, and then we need to turn on the event gen. That's where I'm going to focus this little tutorial on. We will turn on event gen. The easiest way to do that is we're going to come to settings and we're going to go to data inputs and then we're going to look for that SA event gen input. And depending on how many things you have running on your system, it may, and it's going to be here in these local inputs. Mine's not on the first page. Mine usually finds itself on the third third page whatever just go scroll through I wish there was a search up here to grab the one you want um, if you don't have a ton it won't take very long to find it but there's my SA event gen and this module input generates data for Splunk if I just click that mine's already turned on so uh, you'll see that I've got enabled so if I click disable it turns it off if uh, you're gonna want to hit enabled and you may or may not get prompted to restart Splunk you probably won't and once you enable it, you're good to go. It, you'll start getting those logs. And I can see those logs coming in by just going to lame edu. Index equals lame training. And just grab me the last 24 hour logs. And in they're coming. And these here are the logs that are being generated by a, uh, by my event gen. And it, that's as simple as it is. I'll probably put up another video on showing changing the config so you can modify this event gen. Right now it's set to run 10 events every minute. You can make all sorts of modifications, change the randomness, things like that. Uh, look for, look for, out for a video on how to do that. Anyway, but this should get you going. So when you download the Lame EDU app from Splunk Base, you should be able to start getting these logs and do the exact same scenarios we're doing in this channel. Anyway, I hope this helps. Hope If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hope this helps you on your path from becoming a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.